Hey guys, it's me Cupid. Welcome back. Um, I have schizophrenia. Um, so today I wanted to do part two of uh, medications, everything you need to know. Uh, so these are all antipsychotics for schizophrenia. I think these are things that everyone should know about their meds. Um, so today I am only going to be going over three different medications. Um, Clozaril, Abilify, and Geodon. Um, so I couldn't find a lot of information about Clozaril or Geodon, which is really weird, but something I did find out is that they're both meant for children or older, um, but they are, di sorry, they are not meant for children. They are prescribed to a lot of children, so they're not just meant for children. They are meant for adults as well because they, I'm on Geodon. Um, but they are prescribed regularly for children as well. So that some antipsychotics you can't prescribe to children, these ones you can. Um, so let's get right into it. Um, I went over the list yesterday in, um, my part one video. Um, if you guys would like me to go over the list again, I can. Um, otherwise I'm going to get started. So Clozapine. Um, this medication is used to treat certain mental mood disorders, schizophrenia or schizoaffective disorder. Clozapine is a psychiatric medication, antipsychotic type, that works by helping to restore the balance of certain natural substances, neurotransmitters in the brain. Clozapine decreases hallucinations and helps prevent suicide in people who are likely to try and harm themselves. It helps you to think more clearly and positively about yourself feel less nervous, and take part in everyday life. Sounds pretty awesome, actually. Some side effects are drooling, drowsiness, dizziness, lightheadedness, headache, shaking, vision problems, constipation, and weight gain may occur. Though many of these side effects, especially drowsiness, lessen as your body gets, to, gets used to the medication. If any of these effects persist or worsen, you know, contact your doctor, whatever. You know that already. This drug may also cause significant weight gain and a rise in your cholesterol levels. These effects, along with diabetes, may increase your risk for developing heart disease. So tell your doctor right away if you have any serious side effects, including facial muscle twitching, seizures, uncontrollable movements, interrupted breathing during sleep, trouble urinating, severe constipation. And then get medical help right away if you have any of the very serious side effects including severe dizziness, fainting, mental mood changes, difficulty breathing with exercise, sudden weakness, pain, redness, swelling of the arms, legs, persistent nausea, vomiting, stomach, abdominal pain, yellowing of eyes and skin. Um, so some other names that it goes by, cl clozapine is um, the scientific name, clozaril is um, what most people call it. Um, it's also called VersaClose. Versa close. I'll put that on the screen. Um, Fazaclo and Clozaril, of course. All right, so the next one, um, this one is really hard to pronounce, um, but the other name it goes by is Abilify. So it's Arip, Aripeprazole, something like that. I'm going to put it on the screen so you guys have that. So I'm gonna go and call it Abilify. Abilify is a pres prescription drug. It comes in four forms that you can take by mouth. A tablet, an orally disin disinterrogating tablet, a solution and a tablet that contains a sensor to let your doctor know if you've taken the drug. What? I have a sensor? That's a little scary. Um, it also comes as an injectable solution given only by a healthcare provider. Um, Aripiprazole or Abilify oral tablet is available as the brand name drugs Abilify um, and Abilify MySite oral tablet with sensor. <laughs> I'm going to make sure I don't get a sensor. I don't take Abilify and I don't ever want to take it again. I don't know if anybody has ever taken Abilify and had um, akathisia. Oh, it's one of the worst feelings you can ever have. Um, it's just a feeling of restlessness. You can't ever sit still, nothing relaxes you, you're just constantly needing to do something new and your legs are shaking constantly, arms, whatever, you're just, it's, it's a horrible feeling. 
horrible. That's what I had on Abilify and I had it for a couple of months and I just, oh my God, it's, it's very relieving to finally stop the medication and like get to that relaxed state. Oh, such a, such a good feeling. Um, so the regular oral tablet and orally disinterrogating tablet are also available as generic drugs. Yeah, we know that one. Um, so why it's used. Aripazole oral tablet is used to treat schizophrenia, bipolar 1 disorder, manic or mixed episodes or maintenance treatment, major depression and people already taking an antidepressant, irritability caused by autistic disorder, and Tourette syndrome. Um, how it works. Um, Abilify belongs to a class of drugs called antipsychotics. A class of drugs is a group of medication that work in a similar way. These drugs are often used to treat similar conditions. Um, it's not known exactly how aprazole works. However, it's thought that it helps to regulate the amount of certain chemicals in your brain. These chemicals are dopamine and serotonin. Managing the levels of these chemicals may help to control your condition. I still don't understand why they don't know. Um how it helps. Um, that, again, confuses me, how it's already on the market and they don't know how it works. I guess the fact that it works is all that matters, right? Nausea, vomiting, so these are the side effects, sorry, most common side effects. Drowsiness, constipation, headache, dizziness, feeling agitated or distressed, anxiety, trouble sleeping, restlessness, tiredness, stuffy nose, weight gain, Increased appetite, uncontrolled movements such as tremor, muscle stiffness. Serious side effects are neuroleptic malignant syndrome. Symptoms can include fever, stiff muscles, confusion, sweating, changes in heart rate, and changes in blood pressure. High blood sugar, weight gain, trouble swallowing, tardive dyskinesia. Symptoms can include not being able to control your face, tongue, or other body parts. Um, orothastatic hypotension. This is a low, pro low blood pressure that occurs when you get quickly, when you get up quickly after sitting or lying down. Um, symptoms can include feeling lightheaded, dizziness, and fainting. Um, again, some of these, like I said in my other video, are repeated symptoms um, throughout the medications because they use some of the same chemicals. Um, low white blood, blah. Yeah, I hate when that happens. Low white blood cell count, seizures, stroke. Symptoms can include numbness or weakness on one side of the body, confusion, slurred speech. Gambling and other compulsive behaviors. Wow, it can cause gambling and other compulsive behaviors. It's very interesting. Um, that is good to know that I can blame it on the medication. <laughs> I'm joking, I'm not taking that medication. But if I was... Um, okay, so the next one is Geodon, and I, again, couldn't find very much information on Geodon, which is interesting because that is the medication I am taking. Um, but here we go. This medication is used to treat certain mental mood disorders, schizophrenia and bipolar disorder. This medication can decrease hallucinations and help you think more clearly and positively about yourself. Feel less agitated and take more active part in everyday life. Um, so this one's also called Zerprazidone. Zerprazidone belongs to a class of drugs called atypical antipsychotics. It works by helping to restore the balance of certain natural substances in the brain. Side effects may include drowsiness, dizziness, lightheadedness, weakness, nausea, vomiting, runny nose, and cough may occur. So that's about all that I could find on that one. Um, I'm going to end the video pretty pretty much there. Um, so I hope you guys are enjoying these videos. I'm going to do another three um, next week. Um, and then, well, technically I'm going to do another six, but I'm going to do three and three in each video. I uh, figure it takes up about enough time to do three different drugs. Um, if you guys are interested, um, I'm also going to be posting in the comments, or not the comments, my description. Um, my video about natural medicine um, for schizophrenia, natural remedies, natural medicine, um, alternatives um, to medicine. Um, so 
These are things that you can take alongside medication or you can take without medication. If you are adamant that medication doesn't work and you need something different or if you are just adamant that you don't use medication, these are things that you should definitely be using instead. Um, so I'm going to post that video down in the description if you guys would like to take a look at it. Um, otherwise, um, hopefully you guys are enjoying these medication videos and are getting a lot of information out of them. I hope you guys have a beautiful day. Stay wonderful, stay beautiful, stay amazing, stay awesome, stay unique, um, stay you, and above all else, you guys, love yourselves. Peace and love.